just went for a dump haul. I got myself four mowers. Nice mint looking mowers. Uh, so let's start today with the uh, lawn boy. There it is. And beside the lawn boy, we've got a craftsman, craftsman, and a snapper. There she is. All right, so I believe this mower is hydro locked. I say that because there was a bunch of oil by the exhaust. I did uh, clean that off already, though, just just to clean it off. Um, and I'm sure there's a carburetor problem with it too because it's a Tecumseh. But look at this. It came with a nice looking bagger. This mower is actually a fancy pants mower. Let me show you. It's got uh, the personal pace, self propulsion, and a key start. Alright, so you guys can see I can't pull the engine over. My hope is that it's not seized, it just is hydro locked. All right, so I took the spark plug out, and you can see the oil that has dripped down. And then obviously there's some on the uh, muffler. You can see that it's dripping from the muffler. So let's see if the engine pulls over with the spark plug out. All right, I'm going to go turn over the engine. Let's see if any oil comes out of the spark plug hole. And let's see if the engine turns over. I'm not even sure. Oh, yeah, it turns over. All right, I think this was hydro locked, so that's a good thing. All right, so I'm gonna keep turning over the engine until all the oil's out of this hole, and then let's see if it starts up or it needs a car clean or something. All right, I'm also gonna check the compression on this engine just to see how she goes. So it reads just above 90 PSI's. That's reasonable. All right, so I came over to the carburetor over here, and I pulled the bowl off like this, and I realized that there wasn't a main jet in the bowl. It was just stuck on here, just, I don't know how it was stuck on. Maybe the gasket had a little bit of glue on it, or maybe it was just forced in there so hard. But it doesn't even have a main jet. So uh, I'm gonna go steal one off another mower. We'll put it on here, see if this thing fires up. I found this main jet in my hoard of stuff. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of sawdust on it. Um, but I don't have the gasket for yeah, I don't have the gasket that separates the bowl and the bolt, so I'm gonna go steal that off of another Tecumseh. I'm gonna steal the bolt off of this old guy. All right, I got the gasket, and we'll head back. All right, that should be on there good enough. This carburetor should actually be clean because there's no gas. And this guy at all, obviously, since it would have drained out the carburetor anyway. But anyway, there's no gas in there. And this is a bolt or a bowl nut that I already know is clean because I had it in another one of my mowers. So this thing should fire up if everything's right. I'm just going to change the oil, which should be overfilled, obviously, and then start it up. All right, let's see how overfilled this engine oil is. Oh, man. I don't know if you can tell, but it's filled to here. Can you guys see this? It's filled to here, and it should be all the way down here. And this is a really common problem. People do this all the time. All right, I got the oil to the proper level. Let's check the air filter quickly. It's to be in good shape. Anyway, let's stick this back on. It's probably going to need a little bit of starter fluid to fire up, but we'll try it without the start. Let's give her a prime. Oh, I haven't even filled it with gas yet. Hang on a second. A little bit because I will flush out the gas tank if, if this thing fires up. And if it does start, it should smoke like crazy for the first couple of seconds. I'm gonna throw a little bit of starter fluid at it. It's pretty smoky. Still smoking off a little bit. So we'll let her clear up. 
and then start her again. Let's see if the uh, self propulsion works. Even the self propulsion works. This thing is mint. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, electric start to work, because obviously it's not working now. Um, I don't know anything about this, but let's just try to find, I guess, where the battery is. I think it's under this cover. All right, I think we can just pull the battery out of here. All right, here's the battery that we pulled out. It's just a... Uh, I don't know, three amp hours, 12 volts. Um, but unfortunately it is broken. The terminal for the negative is still intact, but the positive is completely gone. So what I'm gonna do is one of these other dump mowers, the snapper here, also came with electric start. So I'm gonna pull that guy out, steal the battery out of that, see if that's good. And then if it's good, charge it up and then put it in here. All right, let's get it out of here. Alright, so here's the snapper. You'll see this in another video coming up. But uh, let's try to take the battery out of here because this guy also has electric start. There's a mouse nest right by the battery in there. Alright, let's get this battery out of here. There's the battery. All right, unfortunately, this battery off the snapper does not fit in the hole here. But we're still going to charge it up and see if it'll start this guy. All right, while we're waiting for the uh, battery to charge, I want to take this chance to tell you guys that uh, I'm getting a free Volkswagen Golf next week. And uh, it's going to be a pretty big project. I want you guys to come along with me. Uh, so please watch next week's video where I'm going to be... Uh, getting a free Volkswagen Golf and hopefully repairing it, getting it back on the road. All right, I hooked the battery up to the uh, mower, but uh, doesn't do anything. So that's going to be it for attempting to get the electric start to work. Um, I checked the fuse and I hooked up the battery, so we're going to put this thing back together and uh, I don't think this guy's going to work. Guys, I figured it out. I lied when I said I was done with attempting to troubleshoot the electric start. Apparently, there's a safety on this mower. So you need to have a weight in here for there to be spark because of the bagger. Uh, it's the bagger supposed to rest in here. And without that, it won't go. But if you just put a little bit of weight in there, like a bolt, and uh, turn the engine over... There you go, except for it doesn't sound like it's working quite right. All right, so let's see why the starter's not engaging correctly. I'm just gonna pop off this cover here. All right, and I'll engage the starter motor and you'll see what happens. The uh, gear's not coming down. All right, let's try to pop up, pop off the top of this thing. All right, got the C-clip off of there. The washer. I'm good. There we go. All right, so I think I figured it out. When the uh, thing spins, this guy here is supposed to go down like that. Here, see, I'll start it up here. And it's supposed to push down, so. Maybe if I just WD-40 it a little bit, and then this guy goes here. If I just WD-40 it, maybe it'll just uh, have enough to, to push this guy down, I guess. All right, we'll lube this guy up. All right, I got everything back together. I'm gonna disconnect the spark plug, and let's see if it'll, uh, see how she goes now.
Not quite. I think I got it enough. <laughs> it's turning it over. I'm gonna charge the battery a little more. Then hopefully we'll have enough power to uh, turn it over a little faster. All right, I charged the battery for a bit. Let's see if she has enough charge or power to uh, turn the mower on. Oh, I see. The safety uh, fell out. Try it one more time. Needs a prime. All right, we're gonna put the uh, mower back together. All right, here's my MacGyver. Since the battery does not fit in the slot, which the other battery went in, this battery from the snapper, I have hot pink duct taped it into place because the new battery costs like $15. And I don't wanna spend that, I'd rather just do this for now. Just kidding. I'll obviously buy a new battery, but for now, we've got a uh, hot pink um, battery holder. And it works. And here's what she looks like with the bagger on. You can see a little bit of uh, green tape peeping out. You just take it off, and there's the battery. Anyway, let's start her up one more time. Give her a start. One more time, just for good measure. All right, I got them all loaded back up for the night. Just gonna back up into this bay here. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and uh, make sure to subscribe.